Hello my beautiful hammerheads and welcome back to Path to Glory Sylvaneth Part 2 How to add more colors to an existing scheme So you probably have seen the first video in which I chose the two main colors of my Sylvaneth scheme and if not there is the link in the top right corner and I did not go too much into details in the video. That won't change with this video. If you want more details on how I really painted everything, just let me know and I can add it into part 3. So the next model in the line is the Branch Witch. I got her in the start collecting box and with her the challenge was we have our athematic blue for the bark and Griffhound Orange for everything else we painted, like with the Dryads. Well, she has a scythe, which is a real weapon, she has hair and she has antlers. Also, there is a second model in the kit, which is her Bitter Grub. So the challenge was to add more colors into the scheme without taking the interest from the main colors. That is easier said than done. And in this video I will tell you on how I conquered this specific challenge. Looking at my old dryads, we have, as I've said, the Ithermatic Blue and the Griffhound Orange. For the base it was mainly a neutral grey with blue and green shadows and a little bit of dry brushing. My first thoughts were on the Bitter Grub. So what makes sense for this little woodland critter? For me the bitter grub was the easiest part because probably tries to camouflage itself either on the branch witch or on the ground like in my case. So the strong orange color makes the most sense for the chitin. And for the belly it was, well, as mine is primarily on the ground, I just painted the belly and all the soft parts with another grey. As it is a living being, I wanted it to be a little lighter for a little bit of color interest in comparison to the pretty dark base. With that out of the way, the bitter grub was for this part basically finished. After I blocked in every color, I just gave it a little dry brush like with the branch witch of Wraithbone. The tricky part was the hair the scythe and the antlers. So without introducing many more colors I decided to go with a white with a little bit of blue inside. So the colors are still pretty near side by side and it won't be a stark contrast to the rest. So I blocked these three parts in with white. After everything dried I gave it a pretty good base coat of Apothecary White. As with every contrast paint, I gave it a big coat and soaked up the axis with a clean brush. After everything has dried, I took another contrast paint, which is Space Wolf Grey, and painted it into the deepest recesses. With the hair this was pretty easy because you can just follow the lines. With the antlers it was a little bit tricky because I just painted it on every angle and to find the sweet spot was a little bit tricky. But while Space Wolf's Grey is drying, I just whipped up another white and painted all the highlights. With the hair, again, this was pretty easy because you can just paint all the raised spots. With the antlers, I just painted the tips and some of the longer parts of the antlers from the front side because I want the face as the focus point. So whenever you look at the model, the face and everything around it should be the brightest and best parts. The face, the antlers and the chest should be the brightest parts. 
with a specific focus on the face. So the scythe was the tricky part. I used the three colors which I mentioned before, so white, apothecary white and space wolf's gray. So I took these three colors and in a two-way shape I painted the scythe with a rather smooth blend from one to another. And here is where the trouble began. <laughs> I really did not like it. So I posted this on Instagram and immediately regretted it. So I painted white all over again and this made me angry at myself. I was angry before and after. <laughs> Before, I was angry that I wasn't able to create the effect which I desired and after, I was angry at myself that I destroyed all the work. However, we can always paint over stuff as long as we use thin colors, which luckily is what I did. So on a live stream, I did the same thing again with the side. This time, however, I was pretty happy with the result. It isn't the best, it is not the crispiest or the creamiest blends. But as a gaming piece this is totally enough and I am happy with the result. To create these blends I heavily diluted the contrast paints with contrast medium because they are pretty pigment intensive. So I just painted it and used my brush to push the pigments into the direction in which I wanted the darkest spots. And for the white parts, I diluted the white heavily with Lamian medium and as soon as the contrast paint dried, I used it to push the white in the other direction. So I get a somehow creamy blend. So with this result, I was pretty happy. As I've said, this is a gaming piece and not a display piece. And after my last failure, I learned a lot about myself and my fear of finishing a project. But I want another project. So for the base, I did basically the same. I used astrogranite debris, painted it with Coelia Nightshade and Athonian Camo Shade. And after that dried, I heavily dry brushed Stormworm and Fur and after that a light dry brush with Administratum Grey. I wanted to use Tufts again, but still they aren't here. So I'm not mad, I totally understand why this is a thing. Because I can add Tufts after they arrive and I have many other Sylvaneth models to paint. But all the while I painted this mini, I again learned something. How to record videos, <laughs> because I'm not doing YouTube for a few years now. Not since about 2013 or something like that. <laughs> no, not me. <laughs> I've never done any kind of videos. <laughs> but I was stupid. But for the next painting videos, there will be slight changes also to the quality of the videos. So thank you so much for watching. Please share your thoughts and questions in the comment section down below. I am keen to know what you have to say. And while you're down there, do all the YouTube stuff because hitting buttons is fun. Have a great day my friend. Stay fantastic. Stay hydrated. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!